say something? You want to eat the microphone? I wanted to do a quick video about the Allen and Heath quasi mixer, um, a modular mixer, field mixer uh, that was made in the 70s by, um, again, Allen and Heath. Um, they call it modular because they had different sizes. They had like a four by four, well, four channel version, an eight channel version, and I believe there was a 16 channel version. There's very little information about these on the, on the net, so it's... Uh, it's difficult, I said the net. <laughs> um, let's get into the mixer, the ins and outs, how I use it, how I route things, and how I make it work for me within my system. Eight channels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's start up here. So it, on every channel we have our gain control, uh, we have a three band EQ, we have a Q mix, um, we have an effects control, one effect, you have pan pots, solo, and then you have the faders. Over here we have our left and right out, we have our cue fader, we have our effect send, here we have headphone controls, auxiliary inputs, and then over here through this D-sub connector we basically connect out to an extra four channels. So I got a beat loaded up in the MPC, let's pull it up and uh, we have, uh, I'll explain where everything is going and coming from. <laughs> So first two channels, obviously this is my drum bus, okay? Now, on the drum bus, three band EQ. So if I wanna boost the, the lows, I mean, that's ridiculous, but, so you have that. On each one of these, what's your little bring in the bass? Um, one of the cool things about this that I like is the Q mix. What I use the Q mix for is for parallel compression. I have it routed out into my Stam Audio sort of SSL bus compressor. Um, and then after that, it goes through a Varimute compressor to get a little tube warmth, and I squash the hell out of it. And I take that signal and send it back to two channels over here, these last two channels. And then I slide it in with a little parallel compression pretty scary so here we have the entire beat here right and the beats already got some weight to it especially that and let's just play everything without that now when I slide in the parallel compression out and I'm gonna slide it back in so anyway that's the basic rundown of the thing okay thanks for tuning in thanks for checking it out um, I hope everyone is well taking care of themselves, staying healthy, and staying productive in whatever your musical practice is. Um, this is the analog, the analog, <laughs> this is the Allen and Heath uh, quasi mixer. Um, it's a really interesting piece. If you can find one, if, you, if it ever pops up on Reverb or eBay, grab it, find you someone who can mod it or, or fix it or clean it or take it apart yourself because it has been really fun to, to work around this and, and make it work.